Behind Brain Cell is Ralph Knobloch. Dedicated to music since his childhood, he journeyed from classic trumpet to drums and rock guitar, leaping into electronic music with his debut project Rasta Aliens, and then to Brain Cell. How do you define this project? My style is just like psychedelic trance, and then it's like some stuff is a little bit more melodic, some is a little bit more groovy, so not really fixed in any kind of thing, but for me, it just, if it's not sounding cheesy and it has psychedelic influences and, and psychedelic stuff inside, I'm into it, so maybe full-on morning kind of stuff, but some is more twilight as well, um, so it's a nice mixture of everything. We reach him online in his studio in Berlin, from where he reveals some of his tools of choice for working in the studio and for pumping out his live acts. Um, so here I'm sitting in the <clears throat> in the spaceship I use normally to make new music. It's it's like a mixture between um, hardware and software actually. I use like a, a modular uh, synthesizer and Nordlead and virus, and for the computer I use. Mac and Eve monitors and sound card is a RME and from the programs I'm actually switching I'm not using always the same one I'm using a bit of logic a bit of Bitwig studio and Ableton live for live acts it's still Ableton live but I, for next year for boom and Ozora actually I try to uh, use Bitwig studio because I'm <clears throat> I'm kind of beta testing for these guys. I'm really happy with this program. That's why I want to push it a little bit more and uh, really want to, to get into the live situation with that program as well. But in the moment, it's, it's Ableton. From his point of view, Psytrance is now in a very good moment. If you would ask me about five years ago, I would say, okay, we are stuck now. There was not so much happening. But now I think there's kind of a new energy coming into the scene and you can see it, it's growing everywhere. I mean, it's, it's everywhere in the world. It's like a kind of a new energy coming into the scene, like a lot of, like the younger generation is coming into the scene, which brings new ideas, new new vibes inside. So for me, the last two, three years is getting really, really interesting again. Brain Cell is just one of the music projects run by Ralph. He is also the man for the ambient, chill, downbeat project Unknown Reality, as well as his progressive alter ego Solar Spectrum. What other artists have inspired you? Um, then I have to go back to the older days. I mean, like the stuff which was getting me inspired is stuff like Infinity Project, Talos Inogain, uh, Tristan. Um, Cox box and this is the stuff which I was growing up so that's that's what I got the most inspiration from but nowadays I think like the guys from Wild Thing I really like like EVP, South Wild and all these guys this is really rocking stuff and um, but it's hard to say like any label like a specific label I can't say like this is good or this is good but I think that some of the old artists coming back to the scene are making really cool stuff and also some new ones as well, like or oh, Acha, for example, one of my favorites as well. He's awesome. <laughs> but there definitely is always an inspirational reason to go to Boom. This year, Brain Cell will be sharing and receiving from it. Boom is always like a, a really special um, festival if you compare it to anything else on the on, on the. Uh, on the world because it's, there's so much different cultures and artists and stuff coming together in one place trying to to make this this huge thing happening and it works really nicely and I get a lot of inspiration when I'm when I'm playing there and go going back to the studio after that I love it I mean Boom is really like a special place and a special festival I'm really happy to play this time <laughs>